Good morning and a very happy Wednesday to you. As we look at our current temperatures, this is really the main story for today. It is frigid outside right now. Now there's no wind, so at least that's some good news. We don't have to worry about the wind chill at this time. But when you have your true air temps in the teens, you're going to have to bundle up 18 degrees in Athens, Cleveland. We're also seeing that in Murphy, Fort Payne as well. The coldest reading coming in northwest from Bledsoe County. This is right outside of Fall Creek Falls State Park. 16 degrees there, 25. So frigid conditions right here even in the scenic city. So absolutely grab the coats. I'm giving your seat warmer forecast at three out of three this morning. Cold and clear skies, winter coats needed. Again, it's 25 in the city, but we have a lot of spots that are going to be in the teens right now. This afternoon, though, it will be a little bit warmer. 55 degrees for your high temperature and sunny conditions will prevail. So sunny skies all day long today and with the wind coming out of the south, we're going to see that slight warm up for the afternoon hours across our entire area. We're talking about a slow warm up today and tomorrow. So highs today about 50 to 55 tomorrow. Those highs about 60 degrees so we stair step up over the next two days. Rain still expected to be likely on Friday morning and then some additional showers over the weekend will be possible with mild air. Those highs in the mid 60s both Saturday and Sunday. Now when we look at our chance of rain for the next seven days, the big one that you're noticing on here is that 90% on Friday. Widespread showers are expected, uh, not necessarily the heaviest rainfall, uh, but anytime we can get widespread rain, we're going to take it during this very dry fall season that we've had a slight flip as far as our rain chances go for the weekend. So Saturday has slightly increased, whereas Sunday has decreased some and then just kind of tapering off on Monday with only a 10% at that point. So what's happening outside right now are those quiet conditions, the cold temperatures. We have that high pressure in place. That's what's bringing us those clear skies as we run through the day today because of the way things are rotating around that high pressure. We're going to have wind from the south to the southwest. That'll help that warm up with those highs around 50 to 55. Notice there's really nothing else showing up on future cast. So with that, you get the sunny skies. Now for tonight, clouds are going to kind of gradually increase. It'll just be partly cloudy overnight, but when you wake up on Thursday morning, you are going to see some clouds in the mix, but this first batch of clouds are going to lift out of our area midday in the afternoon. You get mostly sunny skies and then heading into Thursday evening, clouds will increase once again, but Thursday daytime, it's really dry. It's Thursday night about 11 PM midnight that we're going to start to see some of that rain entering our western communities. That's going to push through throughout Friday morning. So do expect the potential for wet driving conditions on Friday morning for your commute. This is going to last through about one o'clock ish on Friday afternoon. And then once that pushes eastward, generally calmer conditions for your Friday night out plans. Now, as we look ahead to Saturday, remember I mentioned those rain chances have gone up slightly. You can see that as this front stalls out, it kind of creates a diagonal line right across our area. If you're to the southeast of that front, that's where we can see those rain chances on Saturday. Uh, when we talk about a few additional showers, hours possible on Sunday too. total rainfall Friday, Saturday and Sunday across our area about a half inch to an inch and a half today. No rain in the forecast 55 for your afternoon, but we have to get through the really cold conditions first this morning.